Well, good after morning or afternoon or whatever it is. This is the Retro Tech 120p challenge where we play many games with 20p and you see how far you get. This is Solar Fox and this was chosen by Real Generic Demon. There's a link up there. You should follow it. You should watch his videos because he posts a lot of content and he's a very likable chap. And that ready is level one, by the way. Uh, we're looking at old games, aren't we? That's why. Um, so when you first start playing this, it's, uh, you know, you have to, I think it's good that if you have a practice run with it because you, it is very daunting, you see. Um, you, what you have to do is basically you have to collect all those little nibbly bits and uh, you've got uh, a control for a thrust and non-thrust and uh, your little spaceship with its sort of permanently thrusting cockpit christ that must make the pilot very sick um responds very well to little sort of micromanaged movements there's no turning circle you either go backwards forwards left or right and you need to with all those weird beetly shells being fired by the sentinels that line the, each side of the screen um, it's good fun this game um, it's one of those really simple games that I probably wouldn't have looked back in, in the day because I would have been like three when it came out um, but um, it's it's a lot of fun um, I recommend playing it it is one of those games where the more simple it is the better it is um, you could tell it's an old game because if you look at the top of the screen it says skip a rack timer um, if you beat that timer you skip a level um, so rack obviously means level here so we're talking old worldy games first starting out kind of parlance here I would imagine if there was a princess to rescue she'd either be called a bride or a dame um, so yeah I, I think it's a pretty good game actually it's uh, it's tough to get to grips with it's one of those ones that uh, is going to be an inevitable challenge and uh, if you do want to take part in a challenge, well, join the Retro Tech community on Facebook and then wait, and I mean wait, until Sunday or Monday and a new one of these will go up where you pretend that you've bought an arcade machine and you pretend that you put 20p in it and you play that game, you see how far you get and the person who gets the furthest is Big Jimmy Winner and it won't be me this time, I can tell you that. Um, so yes, this was made by Bally Midway in 1981. Uh, this is a level I have a lot of trouble with, by the way. Um, you can see like the innovation coming to the fore with all these uh, games companies at the time, restricted with the technology that they had, and uh, you know they wanted to make a Space Invaders beta, um, but with the technology that they had, it wasn't necessarily possible. But I think. Um, this is a damn good effort, even though I'd never heard of it before this challenge, but that's because I'm a bit of a, a pro when it comes to sort of very early arcades. Um, discovering stuff all the time, recently been doing um, a lot of MAME stuff via this and uh, a video I made uh, about uh, MAME and some of the more obscure stuff on there, which you can see up there. Um, but uh, yeah, my challenge here this gets very tricksy on these levels. Look at that. I think I'm pretty nifty there, actually. But, uh, yeah, my video challenge doesn't last long if you look at the bar at the bottom of the video. Well, I am pretty good at these levels. Look at that. All that snake energy back from when I had my Nokia coming to the fore there. I was a legend at snake, I can tell you that. Nearly filled up the whole screen with my little green python. Um, the little spinny things are black holes. Uh, funnily enough, your semi-useless cannon you have on your front of your ship, um, which fires shells for about a millimetre, uh, can actually be used to destroy those uh, black holes. It's probably worth doing it if you're a bit maladroit like me and miss your turn. Um, but um, yeah, it's got that sort of responsiveness of a of a. A smash TV. That's the end of my challenge. As you see, I just narrowly died at the end there. And that's it for me for this week. I'm just about to write G's. That's part of my name. And K, thanks, bye.